Hello, I'm Gabriele Ara, postdoctoral researcher at Scuola Superiore di Sant'Anna, Pisa. I'm here to show you how you can execute applications composed of several DAGs on two target platforms of the Ampere project. For this presentation, we will use data related to the predictive cruise control use case. First, let's take a look at how it works for the NVIDIA Jackson AGX Xavier target platform. I have here two directories containing the output of the Ampere optimization tool, one per solution. They are related to the same task set, optimized with two separate objectives, minimum power consumption and maximum real-time robustness. To test these deployment configurations on the target platform, we developed a tool called RTDAG. First, we need to convert the output files generated by the DAG optimizer into the input format accepted by the RTDAG command, consisting of one file per DAG. Each file contains all the information needed to deploy the DAG on the target platform. As you can see, all of the tasks in this case, I've been deployed onto CPU units for the minimum power objective. If we repeat these steps for the robustness objective, we find instead that one task is deployed on the GPU using OpenMP, as indicated here. It is now time to execute these task sets on the target platform. To do so, we'll move to a new directory and start RTDAG with the configuration that achieves the minimum power. As you can see, RTDAG selects the appropriate system configuration and frequencies and then executes several applications on different CPU cores. But for this configuration, no task is deployed on the GPU, which results empty. Once execution is completed, we can inspect RTDAG log files to check the timing of these applications. Each log file contains the deadline of each DAG in the first row and response times on subsequent rows. As you can see, all DAGs respect end-to-end -end deadlines, as guaranteed by the optimizer. We can do the same using the robust configuration. In this case, one of the tasks is deployed on the GPU, as shown by these green lines. The GPU utilization is very low, because these periodic tasks are very short. Inspecting the log files shows that, indeed, Optimizing for better robustness improves the end-to-end -end response time of one of the DAGs from 26 to less than 23 milliseconds. We can repeat the above steps for the Xilinx UltraScale Plus target platform. In this case, I already converted the optimizer's output off screen into RTDAG input files. Once again, Minimizing the average power consumption of the applications results in all tasks being deployed on the CPU. Instead, when optimizing for the maximum real-time robustness, the optimizer deploys one of the tasks on the FPGA, leveraging the thread acceleration framework. Like before, we can start executing RTDAG using the configurations that I just showed. The first one executes only on the CPU, so no thread server is started by RTDAG before executing the tasks. Again, as you can see, all DAGs finish within their end-to-end -end deadline, with the longest one taking slightly more than 22 milliseconds to finish. Finally, we can execute the second deployment configuration. This time, the thread server is started, because it will be used to deploy at least one runnable on the FPGA. Once completed, we can indeed confirm that this time the longest end-to-end -end response time falls slightly short of 22 milliseconds.